An emergency national unity government was announced today, led by Prime Minister Netanyahu, a man whom Ehud Olmert has been protesting against for months and who he strongly opposes. Do you think he is the wartime leader that Israel needs at this moment? He's the worst person to have to uh, deal with it. Uh, he, first of all, he has no trust in a major part of the Israeli public opinion, particularly amongst those who have to carry the burden of fighting. All of the security community of the state of Israel, all the former generals and the chief of staff and defense ministers and heads of Mossad, the head of the secret service and head of police, you name it, all of them were absolutely set out against him. He considers himself to be a Churchillian leader. There is the, if there can be an opposite for Churchill, this is Netanyahu, unfortunately. But he warns that even when Israel defeats and destroys Hamas, the eternal question will always be there. The Palestinian issue is here. Now what do we want? To fight all the Palestinians, to destroy all the Palestinians, to kill all of them? I don't want that. I want to kill the terrorists and I want to make peace with the others. And that's what the government has to do. Ehud Olmert has led Israel to war in Gaza. Does he feel this will be the last one? We'll have to live through it to know. But you think we could be here again? This may not be the last time. I hope it will be, at least for a long time. But I definitely can guarantee they will not meet again. Former Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Olmert ending that report with uh, Raggy, who joins us from Jerusalem now. And let's talk a bit about the creation of this new wartime unity government, presumably underlining Israel's intentions. But we should sort of pause to, to reflect on how remarkable that is, given the enormously entrenched divisions that have been in Israeli politics. That's absolutely true, Julie. I mean, um, up until the horrors of October the 7th, this country was, you know, torn down the middle, uh, you know, secular against orthodox, left against right. It was divided, you know, deeply and viscerally. Um, but the absolute national trauma, the unique events in this country's already traumatic past that took place on October the 7th, um, forced the country to address this crisis. And I think the formation of the national unity government is about reassuring Israeli society. You have 300,000 reservists. These are doctors, teachers, business people who serve in reserve, you know, um, you know, turn up once or twice, you know, three times a year to serve in reserve sort of units. They are now going to fight a huge war. You need to give a sense of national purpose to these people. And that's what it's about. It's not a it's not about denying the deep division, divisions that exist. They will re-emerge one day after this crisis is over. But it's about reassuring Israeli society to see them pass this crisis.